And welcome back to Fantasy Sports Today. Each and every week, a new millionaire is made on FanDuel. And last week, Charles Badalamente is the, I don't want to say lucky, I would say the very skilled individual who uh, took his hand over at the Million Dollar Contest and came out a very big winner. Charles, thanks so much for coming on Fantasy Sports Today. How are you? Craig, I'm doing well. Thank you for having me. Glad to be on. Well, uh, Charles, let's uh, let's talk about how you uh, got involved, how long you've been playing daily fantasy sports, and, and what it took for you to win this contest. Yeah, so um, I got involved in DFS, I would say, uh, around 2015. Um, right around there, you know, started, you know, playing some tournaments. Um, and it kind of grew from there. Like, I wasn't so serious about it at that point. But, you know, the more and more research I did, the more... You know, I, I learned the game and, you know, grew to appreciate the game um, and started taking it a lot more seriously. Now, uh, was this your first big win? Had you ever won a, a tournament such as this before? Oh, well, never a million dollars, but <laughs> <laughs> um, I took down a few, um, you know, 10K, uh, 15K uh, in baseball and basketball, but never, you know, a seven-figure score like this. Yeah, a really amazing outcome. And and who yeah. And who was the key to your lineup that ended up? Uh, taking down the million for you? Uh, I mean, I would say that, like, the the entire lineup itself correlated really well. I mean, if you just kind of look at it, I mean, a 3.2% Tyler Higby definitely helped out, mm-hmm. um, you know, scoring three touchdowns. And uh, Aaron Jones with, you know, 47 uh, was key at 11% ownership. Um, but I just think that the lineup was correlated really well. Like, I, you know, I had Dak, CD, um, and ran it back with Ridley. Uh, but the funny thing about the lineup is that the initial build um, had Amari Cooper instead of Mike Evans in it. Mm. So that was the difference. That's what kind of propelled me from, you know, what would have been a, 20, a 20th place finish to the top spot because that was about a seven point difference. So, you know, if I would have left Amari Cooper in there, we probably wouldn't be having this conversation. Yeah, no, really interesting how it happened. What was, uh, as we would call, the sweat like in the final, let's say, hour? Oh, in, insane, insane. Did, um, did you see the end of the games, obviously? The case, yes, I did. Uh-huh. Archery yeah. game? Uh-huh. Uh, well, at the end of that game, I'm praying for that game to end because my entire lineup was done at 1 o'clock. Oh. So, you know, once the 4 p.m. game started, uh, a lot of the teams that had um, Arizona defense – automatically got the 10 point bonus. So that dropped me from first to about fourth and fifth. So what I needed to, you know, I needed um, some scoring from Washington. So those Arizona teams could drop back down. Um, So the first half of the Arizona Washington game didn't look promising because Washington looked really flat, uh, but then they turned it up in the second half and they got, you know, a couple of touchdowns, which, you know, allowed those teams to drop and propel me into that first place spot. Now, uh, Charles, you know, the question that we always ask for somebody who wins a million dollars and does it on the, on the FanDuel site certainly is, uh, I mean, this, it, it, for most people, this is life-changing money. And I would ask you what you planned on or plan on doing it with it when you win this kind of money. It's certainly uh, yeah. such an unbelievable thing. I, uh, I haven't figured that out yet. To be honest with you, a majority of it is still in my FanDuel account. Um, you know, I'll probably be um, withdrawing that pretty soon. But um no plans as of yet. I mean, I'm, I'm moving at the end of the month, so um, maybe I'll have a talk with the owner, see if he wants to sell the house. Um, and that's pretty much it. No plans yet. Uh, I have a, a second baby on the way, so it's going to definitely help with you know, a lot of the bills, but um, no immediate plans, to be honest with you. I know that's a boring right. answer, but it's the truth. Yeah, no, I understand. And, uh, you know, you're looking right there at Charles's lineup from uh, last week. What an, uh, what an amazing week he had, and Charles ended up taking down a million dollar contest uh, on FanDuel, and uh, and I assume that you'll continue to play, Charles. And um, oh, I wish yeah, you all- um, yeah. we're gonna try to go back to back. I don't know if anyone's ever done it um, in the same season. I know they've been two time winners, but has anyone ever done it in the same year? I don't think so. Not as far as I know. So okay. good luck. Maybe, good luck trying we'll, to be the first. Yeah, maybe we'll give that a shot before uh, yeah. Uncle Sam gets a gets a hold on his. <laughs> A great idea. Thank you so much, Charles, for coming on Fantasy Sports today. Really appreciate it, and uh, all the best of luck to you. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much for reaching out. All right. Uh, Charles Badalamente, the million-dollar winner on FanDuel last week, and it just shows you anybody can win. you got to be skilled like Charles, but you also uh, can get it done if you head on over to the FanDuel DFS site and pick your team this week. we got Fantasy or Reality coming up, and 
of course, let's turn it over to Joe Pizzapia as he's got our first question of the day. 